my nana's name. It's to her that I dedicated this guitar. It's the first guitar I've been able to buy of its kind. It's very special to me. My nana is a very special woman. She's a fighter, a singer, a piano player. She watched over me ever since I was a kid. She gave me my first guitar when I was two or three years old. I was never more happy than when I had a guitar to play even though I didn't know how to play it yet. My earliest memories are of my nana, my tia, my uncle, singing Paloma Negra, playing songs, getting together for family weddings, quinceañeras, even a backyard party. Someone would always pull out the guitar, start playing. It's the fondest memory I have growing up. This was her favorite song. Her sister used to sing it before she passed away, my tia Tili. She never got to see me grow up to become a mariachi or a musician. This guitar was built by a good friend of mine, Tomás Delgado, over at Candela's Guitars in Boyle Heights. That's also where my nana grew up. She always says she's from East LA and she doesn't take anything from anybody. She tells it like it is, and she's a tough lady. Beautiful, small, petite, delicate, but very, very strong. Just like this guitar. Even listening to me playing the song, I still go back to those times where our family would get together. It was always a tradition to get together for any occasion. Now, far away from home, I was very fortunate in 2020. So many bad things have happened. This is one good thing I was able to do. I miss my family. I miss playing for family gatherings. I miss playing at all. I'm glad that I was able to complete getting this guitar and my friend Tomas was able to build it. And I was able to go back to Tucson this year and share this guitar with my Nana. She loved it. She said she had never seen anything more beautiful. What's up everybody? Another wonderful mariachi guitar video. Well, really just kind of a tribute to this guitar. So this is the 2020 um, Candelas, Tomás Delgado Candelas guitar. It's a maple, tiger stripe, maple, and uh, spruce top, German spruce top, concert spruce top. It has a uh, rosewood for the bindings and uh, for the bridge. And as you see in the beginning of the video, the pictures I had, I really wanted to have some close-up shots of this thing just to kind of illustrate kind of its beauty and craftsmanship and attention to detail. And, uh, you know, just the rosette alone. I mean, this thing is a one-of-one, one, as I understand. This is a... I don't think he's made another one like this since this guitar or before it. Um, it's a really cool rosette. You know, originally we were talking about doing a, uh, like a star like a five point star or like one of those old school Mexican, you know, clamshell stars. And uh, he had this idea halfway through starting the build and the planning. And he's like, hey, I want to change something. I'm like, you do it, man. I trust you. You know the math, you know the science, whatever you want to do, um, go for it. And this is what we ended up with. You know, this guitar is really like a decade in the making, really. We first started talking about a concert classical for a mariachi for me, specifically my guitar. Uh, back in like 2010, like when I first graduated college and I was about to, you know, have a job and a salary. I wasn't going to be broke anymore. Um, it never kind of panned out. So I could never 
be disciplined enough to save enough money, I was always buying different guitars and sending them to the Maz and he'd refinish them or not refinish, but fix, you know, and make them playable. And uh, it was about last year, 2019, you know, we'd been going back and forth on a guitar and I had bought a few guitars from him in the last couple of years. And I was like, hey, you know, what if we did like a maple, a maple mariachi guitar or a classical, something that I could, you know, get more practice playing. <laughs> Also, you know, I like to study flamenco a little bit. You know, something that could do all three. And then, of course, my bread and butter. You see, that's, that was the essence of what we wanted. That crunch, like that, that power in this guitar. And so, yeah, I went out to the shop, you know, I said, hey, what about maple? And I must have struck a chord with Tomas when I said that because he, the next thing he texted me was like, dude, when can you fly out to talk about the guitar? So I booked a flight, went to the, you know, the studio, you know, um, parlor out there in, in East LA, Wall Heights. And uh, by the end of the afternoon, we had played like maybe five or six, seven, eight guitars just brainstorming ideas, and this is what we kind of came up with. You know, a couple of glasses of tequila. Uh, you know, it kind of occurred to me that my nana was the biggest inspiration for me to start music. You know, she's a piano player, she's an accordion player, she's a singer. Um, Paloma Negra is kind of a family favorite song. You know, my tia, my great aunt, um, she passed away a long time ago when I was still a kid before she could see me become a musician. Uh, she could sing a share of that song and uh, she'd blow everybody away. And that's kind of how I grew up. I grew up in my nana's house, listening to her play and sing, and my uncle and my tias, all of them playing and singing mariachi music, playing guitar and piano. That's, that's, what I, that's what I heard when I was a child. And so this was, you know, something where I'm like, you know what, this is what I want to dedicate to my nana, something to leave behind, you know, as a legacy thing for me and my family, dedicated to her. Yeah, very special. My nana is a very special woman. She was actually born in Boyle Heights in East LA in the, in the, in the early 40s. And, uh, you know, she's a feisty woman. She's a gangster. You know, I mean, she'll, she's very, she's about this tall, you know, she's little, but she'll smack you in the face. You know what I mean? And she'll tell it like it is. Like, if she has an opinion, she's got no problem telling it to you. It's like, you get right? Like, what are you going to do about it? And that's kind of how this guitar, the attitude of this guitar when we were talking about how it was going to kind of hopefully turn out with something that was powerful, it's light as a feather, you know, you can't even, like, you can barely tell that you're holding anything, right? But at the same time, it just explodes with sound. Um, yeah, so this was dedicated to her, and uh, I don't want to take up too much time talking and uh, not playing. So I just wanted to share this with everybody. I know it's been a very difficult year. Um, it's been a tragic year for a lot of people. It's been a challenging year for you know everybody else. No matter what your walk of life is, no matter what your profession is, I know that you've you know probably suffered some impact financially, emotionally, personally. You know I know a lot of people that have gotten COVID and survived it. I've known a few that did not make it. Um, thankfully, most of my family, everybody who has gotten COVID has recovered from it completely. And then uh, most of my family have been able to avoid it entirely. Um, so I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful. Uh, you know, shout out to Tomas, Eka Nellis Guitars. I, you know, I keep hearing that California is a crazy place right now. Hopefully everything is going well over there. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I last talked to you. Um, and I hope you guys had a great Christmas. It's New Year's Eve. We're in northern Dallas, Fort Worth, and it looks like it's going to freaking snow outside. And so I'm a desert rat kid, so I'm not used to this kind of level of cold. Um, and uh, hope it's a good, happy New Year. You know, I don't put too much stock in hopes and dreams and prayers, but this guitar is living proof that if you, you know, set goals, have discipline, have good relationships with people, treat people well, 
you know, better than you would want to be treated, you know, things, things can happen for you. And, you know, I just want to say thank you very much to everybody who's watching this channel. Thank you to my friends and family who've always been there for me. Thank you to Tomas for his kind of creative brilliance and his discipline and uh, ability, you know, that he's mastered um, in building these instruments like this. And uh, hopefully soon in 2021, um, I'll be able to get back to playing gigs. I've been really staying away from chambas, uh, not just because I don't want to get sick, but because, you know, my wife is uh, soon to be, uh, I'm a soon to be father. So my son will be born next year in 2021, early 2021. And uh, this is a great thing that it happened this way, you know. Like I said, I'm not much of a, of a hopes and prayers guy, but you know, there's just times in, in life where you're like, you know, someone somewhere is looking out for you. Because uh, we got this guitar done. It has my nana's name. My son, if he chooses to become a musician, will have this instrument long after I'm done. And will have his great grandmother's, his great nana's name. And a legacy for him um, to carry on. And so what better way to do it than with an amazing instrument? So again, thank you everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.